what are you doing here? It's Sean, right? You know him? Yeah, we've met at Diane's. Theo Hoffman brought Sean in to investigate the wrongful death suit against Dante and Brenda. Well, that doesn't explain why he's breaking in here. You can feel free to chime in anytime. I'm here because you invited me. Turn about being fair play or no. Comes to Mr. Hoffman's attention, you've been looking into his past. He finds it concerning. Mr. Hoffman have something to hide? Undue attention into Mr. Hoffman's life necessitates my attention. Counterproductive since the thing we should be concentrating on is the wrongful death suit. And Mr. Hoffman is a bearer about efficiency and time management. So you came here to threaten Jason? No, he just did it to prove he could do it. It's Mr. Hoffman sending a message. Well, considering your reputation, Mr. Hoffman thought getting you to back off might require something more than a simple request. Again, nothing personal on my part. You're not getting paid enough, Sean. Because clearly Mr. Hoffman didn't warn you of the risk involved in coming into my place uninvited. I'm just so we're clear. I've got no reason to wish you any harm. And that can always change. But for now, at least, technically, we're on the same side. I consider this your one free pass. If I catch you again, I'm just going to treat you like any other threat. Got it. Nice meeting you, Miss McCall. Of course he would know my name. How smooth, the way he threw it out there on his way out the door. This guy's no amateur. Why would Theo Hoffman need a strong arm heading up his investigation? That's a good question. Let's find out. I don't appreciate being summoned out of bed in the middle of the night. Your retainer is not sufficient. No, my retainer is non-existent. You're off the payroll. Indeed? Yeah. Indeed. Just caught your investigator breaking into my place to send me a message on your behalf, and you know what? I don't accept messages from you. I pay you, and now I'm firing you. So go back and pack your bags. Go back to Manhattan. I'll call Diane in the morning. And consider yourself lucky I'm only firing you. Lovely. I look forward to escaping this backwater and diving back into a city that offers real culture. I hope there's no hard feelings. I do wish you great good luck in finding another attorney who will uh, protect Ms. Barrett's interests. She requires a special kind of handling. What does that mean? Well, I, uh, I questioned Brenda one night. I was quite easy on her, all things considered, and yet our Brenda fell apart. She confused one shooting with another, hiding behind hair and evasive eyes. Any reasonable, competent prosecutor would make mincemeat out of her. I can't worry about that anymore. Uh, how about your nephew, Michael Corinthos? Can you spare any uh, worry for him? What about Michael? Now, correct me if I'm mistaken, but Michael is paroled into Detective Falconeri's custody. Once uh, the detective is implicated in a murder cover-up, ah, well, at least they won't be separated up there in Pentonville together. Once Judge Carroll finds out that Detective Falconeri is himself a felon, well, he might be compelled to resentence young Michael to his full term in Pentonville. What a pity that would be. You heard, Jason. You're fired. No, no. Get no. the hell out Sam, of here. Sam, He's right. I'd like you to stay on the case. Please, you just got to put your focus on the case. Just stay out of my business. I will act in the best interests of my client. You do realize you just gave Hoffman a master class on how to manipulate you. Michael, hey. 
Love and concern for Michael is all over your face for anyone to read. Theo just used that to manipulate you, and he's going to do it again. Jason, you should stick with your first instinct and cut him loose. That guy is bad news. Agreed. But until I know how bad, I, uh, I want to keep Theo close. You set him up. I wanted Theo to believe that he found a, an angle to work me. And as soon as he thought he did, he got a little too pleased with himself. Theo's just showing me who he really is. The lawsuit against Brenda and Dante has always bothered me. How it was conveniently filed the, the minute Jerry Jacks hits town. So, we can reasonably assume that he was hired by the Balkan. Okay, but what does that have to do with Theo? Okay, what are the odds that the perfect guy to defend Dante and Brenda shows up days later? An associate of Diane's who happened to specialize in this type of law. It's just too many coincidences. Wait a minute. So you think this is a um, carefully constructed plan? Yeah, and I want to investigate the family that instigated this lawsuit and every lawyer involved. Because if the Balkan hired Jerry, it's possible he hired Theo. Keep checking for me. Spinelli? Yeah, second background check on Theo came out clean. What about the lawyers suing Brenda and Dante? Nothing there either. Okay, well then maybe Theo is exactly who he says he is. This lawyer from Manhattan who came to Port Charles to defend Brenda and Dante. Not after the threats he was making last night. Theo is connected to the Balkan. We just need to figure out how. So Two things we know about the Balkan. He's targeted Brenda and Dante for killing his son, and Jerry Jacks is working for him. Yes. Do you think there's a connection between Jerry and Theo? I don't know. When Alexander's body was released, the Balkans sent Jerry to pick it up. At the same time, the lawsuit was filed against Brenda and Dante, and then Theo shows up. Okay, but coincidences do happen all the time. I mean, look at Brenda shooting Banovic just to keep him from killing Dante. It's almost a repeat of when she shot Alexander. I know, but why would a lawyer from Manhattan with a practice there come to Port Charles? Maybe he wanted the exposure for defending Brenda. Come on, Jason. Theo has, has been practicing for over 30 years. He's an expert in all areas of the law. And if he did create this lawsuit, it proves that he's a manipulator, but not necessarily connected to the Balkan. OK, what would he be trying to manipulate? The press. Brenda is still the face of Cartulo. She was in a very high-profile relationship with Murphy Sinclair. Theo, he has an ego. And maybe he just wants the publicity for exonerating Brenda. I don't know. Honestly, I, I don't know, but the wedding's tomorrow, and we know that the Balkan is going to try to grab Brenda. Yes, we do. But Jason, you have the best instincts of anyone I know, and I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that maybe you, you can't focus so much on Theo because you might miss out on a clue that's going to lead you in a different direction. Do you see how up... Vamber and the victim's families, they didn't do anything for weeks. Jerry shows up, a lawsuit's filed, Theo comes in to handle everything. Come on. This just all ties up a little too perfectly. Right. So if Theo's working for the Balkan, he's feeding him everything that Brenda has said about Alexander's death. Yeah. <sighs> hey. hey! Hi! Am I interrupting? No. No, no, no. no. Okay. Um, what? You're here for the rose petals. Yes, Brenna. it's your job, yes. Molly's job, and I think you're gonna do great. Thank you for helping. Guess what? Oh gosh! Ah, oh my God, it's what? so great. Court case has been delayed. Hmm. We don't have to deal with it for at least a few months. It's not all, and it's all because of Theo. The divine one does indeed leave town. Will the Valkyrie refrain from telling Fair Lulu that her boyfriend fathered the child? Carly, what, what, are you, what are you doing here? Spinelli wanted to talk to me. He's afraid I'm upset about the wedding. OK, whatever you're up to, leave Spinelli out of it. I just assured Spinelli that I wasn't going to do anything to interrupt Sonny and Brenda's wedding. That's good. You're supposed to say, that's great, Carly. I'm glad you decided to do the right thing. Talk to you later. About what? I, I had uh, I had invited the Valkyrie to att attend the nuptials with me. She'll she'll give me an answer soon enough. Oh, so to what do I owe this lovely pleasure? Okay, we need to do some more research on the Balkan. Well, fine, but all my previous searches have come to naught. We have a new lead. 
see if there's any Europeans in the area on extended visas. Yeah, the Jackalos launched multiple searches in government hotel and travel databases. We got one big advantage. We got Alexander's DNA from the autopsy. Yes, and then we can compare that DNA to the suspects and see if there's a paternal match. That would be a daunting task to say the least. Well, you better get started because it's the only lead we've got. Was access the hospital's private records with regularity in the past. That the database has a new firewall and it's proven to be a most formidable foe. Well, how long is it going to take to get in? Uh, five minutes, five hours. The code is labyrinth fine. Could, can you can you access all hospital, forensic clinic computers throughout the city and check recent DNA samples, cross-reference that with Alexander's DNA? Of course, but it will be time-consuming. Well, the Buckins only been in town a few months. Where the chances his DNA was even recorded? I don't know, sometimes when your goal is in sight, you relax a little bit and you get sloppy. Maybe finally this guy made a mistake. Just finished a case. I was heading back to the office when I heard him. The pleas for mercy. Don't shoot. Please, don't shoot. I don't want to die. There was only one thing to do. Uh, but it was a new J. <sighs> Jigs up, Balkan. No one threatens my little stone cold and gets away with it. Spinelli. Spinelli. Spinelli! What the hell are you doing? Oh, just attempting to achieve a more balanced diet. Would, would, would you like some? No, no, I forget the food. Okay, I need you to focus. We're running out of time. Anything? Any match on Alexander's DNA? The Jackal's, Jackal has made several attempts to circumvent the new system's firewall, but I've been met with resistance at every one is, is this a problem for you, Spinelli? Look, the Jackal will undoubtedly gain access to the aforementioned servers. It's just a question of time. <sighs> okay. You know what? I'm not doing you any good here. I'm going to go meet Dante at the Archer Pavilion. We're going to do a walkthrough. You call me when you find something. Everything's set. All guards are in place. <laughs> they couldn't have eloped, huh? Sonny feels like he cheated Brenda out of a, a wedding already, so he That's just wants to make up for it. Sure. Just hope it doesn't get someone killed. Is this uh, is this about security or the whole thing with Brenda? Well, it's about security. The whole thing with Brenda's in the past. She's a great person. I don't regret helping her, but I'm in love with her. So you don't mind standing up for Sonny and watching them get married? No, I genuinely wish them the best. I just have a bad feeling about a big wedding. I think you do, too. Oh. Hi. Hey. I hope you don't mind. I decided to do my own walkthrough before the wedding. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. No, it's just not that I don't think that you and Dante can't get the job done. I'm just... I know that if anything goes wrong, you will never forgive yourself. And neither would Sonny, so I appreciate that. You're welcome. It kind of is for selfish reasons, though, because if this wedding goes off without a hitch, Brenda will be gone from your house. Thank you. Yeah, and I just got to say that you've been, you've been great supporting me through this whole thing. You know, there's times I know I've been distracted. There's things that I can't say, but no matter how it seems, I just want you to know that you're everything that I need. Go off your... Sonny and Brenda couldn't make it work the first time, so what do you think the chances are that they're going to make it work this time? Well, if they're lucky, like we were. You know, a lot went wrong. Mm -hmm. And we got through it. We did. And came out stronger in a lot of ways. We sure did, didn't we? My life doesn't work without you, Jason. I mean, I don't think any relationship is perfect, but I wouldn't trade ours for anything in the world. I love you. Oh, stupid kid. Yes, yes, yes. Please yes, help yes. me with this. Let me do it. Thank you. You're welcome. I know you hate dressing up, but it really is nice seeing you in a suit every once in a while. Well, I'm glad you like it, but it reminds me too much of court. Oh, it does? Well, if yeah. everything goes according to plan, you are going to be a free man in a matter of hours. And guess what? Brenda's going to be Sonny's problem. Now do you want to celebrate? Victory at 
last, the Jackal has unearthed the true identity of the Balkan. 